Alright, welcome. We're the Knights of the Drunk Watch. Uh, this week we've decided to go ahead and do Blackburn. Uh... <laughs> Alright, so first, the movie is called Brightburn. Racism. So there's a movie. It's called Brightburn. You may have seen trailers for it. Literally everywhere. Yeah. I... Okay, tell us about the plot without too many spoilers. Again, well, I haven't if, seen it. Alright, so if you've seen any of the trailers, there's not really a lot to spoil. It's evil Superman. Spoilers. <laughs> I, I guess. Like, you literally watch five seconds of the trailer, and it's like, oh, no, there's evil Superman. It's kid crashes in, like, baby lands in the forest <laughs> in Nebraska. Farm-like people living on the farm go get the baby, and they're like, oh, no, alien baby. We're going to raise it as our own. Sounds familiar. It is, it is literally it is... evil Superman. There, as far as the cast, I didn't really recognize anybody, but I'm not really great with it. I recognize Elizabeth Banks, and then there's a random kid playing baby Superman. So a lot of upcoming talent. And then the father is played by a dude who looks kind of like the guy from Stranger Things, <laughs> like Hopper from Stranger Things. Oh. So you were saying something about Earth 3? Yeah, so basically if you're familiar with Earth 3, where all the superheroes end up being the villains and all of the villains end Deep up being... Deep nerd caught, yeah, cut yeah, alert. Just sort of. I mean, that's one of the more popular storylines and it happens a few different things. <laughs> anything about the plot that really stood out to you or anything that totally not, did not stand out Not to. really. It's actually pretty predictable. You kind of know where it's going. It's been advertised as a horror movie for the most part, but it kind of loses one of those things that makes a good horror movie, which is that kind of sense of impending doom. And like, you're waiting to see, oh, what's the next threat or what is the threat? In this, you go into it immediately knowing what the threat is. Mm -hmm. So... You're kind of just waiting. It's like, all right, when the kid, when's the kid gonna start going ape shit? Because I mean, in the in every single trailer that they've released, it already shows the kid like murdering people. So. So you feel like the trailer kind of gave away a little too much I mean, it, of it the suspense. Did, that realistically, it would have had to have just gone completely like you don't even know what the movie is about to have like hidden anything. Mm -hmm. As soon as it's like, oh, it's evil Superman, then it just immediately, you know what's gonna happen. Um, So Jacob, how many drinks do you feel, how many shots do you feel like you needed and it, what type of shots It was a nice middle of the road movie. Like it wasn't great, it wasn't terrible. Like it was just kind of there and it did what it was supposed to do. I mean, I'd say like a good three shots Ooh. would like make the movie much more enjoyable. Any specific drink they should have? Like, should they have like three beers? Should they have like three shots of scotch or any You drink what you want to drink. Whatever, you pick your poison. There dealer, you go. Dealer's choice. Dealer's <laughs> choice. You will see a pole over there. It's somewhere above yeah. me. You're gonna see a poll um, for what you want us to watch next week. We are the Knights of the Drunk Watch. And, and now, now our, our talk, talk has ended. ended. Cheers. You and your Game of Thrones shade, I swear to God. <laughs> Somebody has to do it. Yeah.